Good morning. Good morning. Glad to see you here this morning on this Wednesday, December 14th. Daily Devotions with Pastor Sutton on Snow Day. Mm, it's not fair. It's really not a snow day yet. It's an ice day. Um, they were saying that we'd be getting all kinds of snow. And uh, throughout the night, I was getting up and, and looking out the window to see what we had for snow and wondering what it was going to be. And all there was was wind, 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 wind. Um, and then about four o'clock this morning, the rain started and we had, we've had, uh, rain almost continuously, freezing rain, uh, from about 4 a.m. till now. And needless to say, with freezing rain, the schools are canceled. So there's no school in Tomahawk, no school in Merrill. Um, and I don't foresee it improving by mid-afternoon, so we'll probably have no no Bible history and catechism classes today, and, and probably no church tonight. I haven't talked to the congregational president yet to see uh, what he's thinking, but I, I'm, uh, I'm thinking by 7 o'clock tonight, nobody's going to want to go out. We'll have to see what tomorrow brings for uh, my friends up there at, at Faith and Harsha. Um, because actually, the this is the, the the warning. There's a winter storm warning out for <clears throat> North Wisconsin right now, and it goes until nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, which means doesn't that doesn't mean the winter weather ends at nine a.m. It means the storm ends. We still could be getting stuff after nine tomorrow morning. So I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a, well. So you know, here we are. Here we are. Um, Alexander didn't have to get up and go to school, so. There was a little bit of sleeping in that went on. I didn't bother putting on pastor clothes because I'm not going anywhere today. I can tell you that. Um, you know, if there was a foot of snow on the ground or so even, it wouldn't bother me to go anywhere. I'd get in my truck and be like, hey, let's go to let's go to Appleton. What the heck? Um, but uh, ice is a whole different animal. You know, I'm not a. And there's traffic on 51 going north and south. Of course, that's probably been salted and sprayed and things like that. Uh, but it, it, uh, the side roads are what are, are going to get you in. It's uphill to get out of our little neighborhood onto 51. So I don't know if we'd even be able to get up the road to get there. I, I imagine in time. Uh, but I think it's just a good day to stay home and uh, and enjoy the uh, the holiday season. So good morning to you. Um, and uh, let's uh, let's see who's here this morning. We didn't have any commemorations to start the day. So uh, Jill and John, good morning to you guys. And Ashley, good morning. Jerry, good morning to you. Glenn, good morning. Jeannie and Bob, good morning. Now, I can't tell. You know, it. Uh, my computer is uh, having problems. Yes, I, too, have computer problems. Uh, Mushtaq, good morning. Kathy, good morning. Deb and Ann and Grant, good morning to you guys. I imagine you're hunkered down too. Michael, good morning. Oh, from the VA. Well, I pray everything's all right there, Michael. Um, uh, yeah, my I've got two drives in my computer, and the data drive is having all kinds of issues. And uh, Western Digital has agreed to replace the drive, even though it's a month out of warranty, a month. Um, but they want me to send it back to them, um, and I need the data that's off of it. Well, I thought that's easy. I'll just I'll just copy it over. I've got the original drive from the computer that was in it when I bought it that I uh, you know, hung on to, and this is a a rotating drive, a spin drive, um, a true hard drive, disk drive. Um, and what I put in was a was a solid state drive, so it would be a little faster and consume less energy. Well, we'll read this one. And I thought, well, that's okay. I got, I got other drives around. I can just, I can just go down to the basement. I got a one terabyte uh, desktop drive. I'll just go down there and get that one. Well, it won't read this one either. So, there's the fun. There's the fun. And I, so I've got, fortunately, ninety percent of what I have for stuff on my computer is in the cloud. Um, and just copied onto the computer. There's a copy in the cloud. There's a copy on the computer. <laughs> Um, but the same token, there's a few little things on there that I don't want to lose and, uh, things like that. So I've got a, 
figure out how to get that done. That's a good project for today when you can't go anywhere. So, all right. Well, good morning, everybody. Let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, if you have the Lutheran Service Book, page 295, Daily Prayer for Individuals and Families, I have my treasury right here. And so we'll get into our devotion here for today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Yeah, Bonnie, it's super windy. We've got uh, tree limbs that came down between ice and wind, and it just is howling out there. You guys can't hear it, I don't think. My... <laughs> Oh, it's loud enough. Bonnie said it's loud enough to make make it difficult to hear me from my study out into the living room. So anyway, our psalm today, Psalm 27, in little pieces. Psalm, verse 1, verse 4 and five, four through 5, or 4 and 5, and verses 11 through 14. So we've got kind of like pieces here. So Psalm 27 in pieces. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? One thing have I asked of the Lord that I will seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. Teach me your way, O Lord and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out violence. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I see why they kept verse 1. <laughs> I can do anything through him uh, who has done this for me. Right? Not that I can do anything, but through Christ, in Christ. One thing, one thing have I asked of the Lord, and that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. That's the one thing, right? At my sermon on Sunday, um, I don't really, uh, the uh, I don't remember a lot of it. I mean, you know, when you, when you preach a new sermon every Sunday, the ideas stay there, but the sermon itself does not necessarily remain, but it was on Oh, it was on John uh, sending his disciples to Jesus to say, are you the one? Um, and, and in the sermon, I, I, I pointed to uh, the truth. Geraldine, did I say good morning to you and Neil? I don't know if I did or not. Good morning. My, my, part of the problem with my computer being kind of flaky is that it doesn't, it's not updating the comments uh, as quickly as it might. So sometimes I don't see the comments until uh, it's all all through here. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, the one thing that mankind desires above all else is to have peace with God. We want to be at peace with God. We, we don't want our Lord to, to hate us, despise us, despise us, or send his wrath upon us. Um, those who... Those who do not fear the Lord or who turn away from him um, and towards themselves, towards uh, their, their, their own stone heart, um, uh, they, say, they would say that they don't speak, seek peace with the Lord because they, they don't believe in him or they don't believe he exists or what have you. But the truth is, um, like a petulant child, 
they've simply turned away from him and said, you know what, if, if you're not going to do what I want you to do the way I want you to do it, then I'm going to refuse to believe in you. Like a, like a child, like a, like a toddler going, hmm, if I can't have it my way, I'm not going to do it at all. Right? Um, but when you, when you stop and realize that the, the steadfast love of the Lord endures forever and what he has done for you and I, that he is the light and salvation, um, then you seek. That's what you seek. One thing. To dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life and to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple, to be near our God. And then we all break into nearer my God to thee. All right. Let's move on to our reading here from the Old Testament today, from the... Uh, um, from Isaiah chapter 30, verses 15 to 26. Now, I, as always, I have not read this yet, so we'll have to see what we what we find here. But it's wrong for me to say that I haven't read it. I've read it. I just haven't read it today or yesterday or recently. Have I read it recently? I don't. Isaiah 30. Yeah, I don't think I've read it recently. Isaiah 30, 15 to 26. For thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. But you were unwilling, and you said, No, we will flee upon horses, therefore you shall flee away. And we will ride upon swift steeds, therefore your pursuers shall be swift. A thousand shall flee at the threat of one, at the threat of five, you shall flee till you are left like a flagstaff on the top of a mountain, like a signal on a hill. Therefore, the Lord waits to be gracious to you, and therefore he exalts himself to show you mercy. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all those who wait for him. For a people shall dwell in Zion, in Jerusalem, you shall weep no more. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. As soon as he hears it, he answers you. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet your teacher will not hide himself any more. but your eyes shall see your teacher. And your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Um, when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left, then you will defile your carved idols overlaid with silver and your gold-plated metal images. You will scatter them as unclean things and say to them, be gone. And he will give rain for the seed with which you sow the, in the, the ground, and bread, the produce of the ground, which will be rich and plenteous. In the day that your livestock will graze in large pastures, or in that day your livestock will graze in large pastures, and the oxen and the donkeys that work the ground will eat seasoned fodder, which has been winnowed with shovel and fork. And on every lofty mountain and every high hill, there will be brooks running with water. In the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, moreover, the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will be sevenfold as the light of seven days. In the day when the Lord binds up the brokenness of his people and heals the wounds inflicted by this blow, by his blow. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God opening my Bible study software here again while I was uh, speaking because uh, no go back over over go over here go over here um, while I was speaking because hey Jeff good morning glad to see you here I pray all is well with you I'm uh, I wanted to see here. Um, Isaiah, set your book on top of your computer and you wonder why you can't see it. Isaiah 30, um, 
verse 20. I wanted to see what the word is here, because in the text you heard him say your teacher. And I want to know what... Oh, okay. All right, I thought it might be rabbi, translated as teacher, but it's not. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, how would you say that? I'm looking at the Hebrew letters, and that's... Uh, more, I think is how you would say that, and uh, that's that's not a teacher like a rabbi, like a teacher of the faith, but rather that's the instructor of a of a of a uh, of an artisan or a skill, um, a master, a master teacher, right? The 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 apprentice apprentices himself to a master until he's achieved the skill. And then he becomes uh, a master himself. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's see what we got here again. Um, oh, we're still we're still um, talking about I mean, Isaiah goes back and forth between judgment and uh, blessing. Judgments of those turned away from God blessing for those who are turned towards him. Um, so he says, at first, in returning and rest, you shall be saved. In quietness and trust will be your strength. All right, so that that's, that's the blessing of being in the Lord. Um, but we also have here, um, we also have here, what is going on? Did I read this? Sometimes I read stuff and then I look back and I'm like, no, I don't. Didn't read that. Oh, okay. In returning and rest, you shall be saved. In quietness and trust, you shall be your strength. But you were unwilling. And you said, we'll flee on horses, right? If you just stop, he's saying to Israel, if you just stop and be my people, stop fleeing from your enemies and trust in me to fight for you when the time is appropriate. Um, remain in me instead of fleeing to yourself um, I would be there but no you, you get on your horses and you run well you know what if you're going to run then your pursuer will be just as fast as you are and in fact you'll if one comes you'll flee ten will flee or a thousand will flee five five at the threat of five you all flee um, so you're left like a flagstaff on top of a mountain. Well, what's a flagstaff on top of a mountain like? I mean, think about that. We're talking about a flagpole on top of a mountain. What, What is that like? Well, you know, if you see a flagpole on top of a mountain, there's nothing there to protect it. I guess you could think of capture the flag, right? Um, as a child or maybe older, you play capture the flag and, and you always leave somebody back to guard the flag, but there's nobody to guard the flag. There's nobody there. It's, it's unprotected. It's alone. And the enemy can take it at will. <clears throat> I used to play some video games that had capture the flag. I haven't done that in a long time. I haven't played a video game in a long time. I know that sounds funny to you because you think, why would a pastor of your years be playing video games? But I used to play them fairly often. Of course, part of that was I'd play them with the boys. So uh, so th that ends the idea. And then there's a new thought that comes into this. The Lord will be great, waits to be gracious to you. He exalts himself to show mercy to you, for the Lord is a God of justice. And he is. His justice is not like our justice. His justice is his justice. And it's in Christ that he declares uh, that he declares his people justified in Christ, right? Um, if if we were if, if if God were to use our justice, there's no one who could stand. Um, even in His justice, there's no one who could stand. But certainly, if we were to count our our, our justice as God's justice, it wouldn't work out. But uh, in His justice, He sends Jesus to die for you. Right to save you from your sins, and and this is what it's like. He says, then a, a, a people shall dwell in Zion and Jerusalem who weep no more. Gracious to you at the sound of your cry, as he hears it, he answers. 
though the Lord has given you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, life is life is tough. Life is tough. Yet your teacher will not hide himself anymore. And that's the, the coming of Christ. Even though the, the 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 Israelites are in the time of Christ are still suffering under the rule of Rome um, and not, you know, not a free people, um, they still have Christ coming. And, and the teacher will not hide himself anymore, but your eyes shall see your teacher, the, the master of these things, right? And your ears shall hear a word saying, this is the way, walk in it. And when you turn to the left or the right, right? The, the, the Holy Spirit is in us. God's, God's word is Christ. And he, when he ascended into heaven, he sent back the Holy Spirit into us by our baptisms to guide us, to keep us on the on the path, right? If you turn to the left or the right, he says, no, go forward. His his spirit exists in us as a conscience, as a guide to our lives. When we don't push him down and ignore him, this is the way, walk in it. And then, then you will take your carved idols overlaid with silver, your gold plated metal images and scatter them like unclean things. He will say to them, be gone. And he will give rain for the seed and uh, 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 and, and bread, which is comes from that seed, the produce of the ground, rich and plenteous. And that day the livestock will graze in large pastures. And oxen and donkeys that work the ground will eat seasoned fodder, which has been properly winnowed. That is that the, the grain has been separated from the chaff and the wheat. In every lofty mountain and every high hill, there will be brooks running with water. And the day of great the great slaughter, when the towers fall. And the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be sevenfold, as the light of seven days, seven lampstands in the book of Revelation, uh, seven stars. Um, and... The Lord will bind up, or the light in the day when the Lord binds up the brokenness of His people. That's not a if; that's a when, and heals the wounds inflicted by His blow. Okay. So now and not yet. God is reminding His people Israel that even though they stand in judgment from Him because of their sins, He will yet return them one day. Uh, to to Israel, where things will be good, the land will be plentiful, they'll have good lives. But he's also telling us about the day that the teacher will come, that Christ will come, and in him, he will show us the way. And whenever we swerve to the left or the right, he'll, a voice behind us saying, no, this is the way. <laughs> the way, the life, and the truth. Um, and then... On that day, the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, the Lord will bind up the broken of his people and heal the wounds that he inflicted. The, the, the bread and the water of affliction uh, will be taken from us, and we will have only good things. Uh, friends, that's the promise of, of the new heaven and the new earth. The promise of an of a, of a, of a everlasting life in a place where there is no sin and no suffering, where he dry, wipes away every tear. Don't get me wrong. Life in this world's not easy, is it? Um, but we have the blessing of Christ and the assurance of this promise. That's what we live in. We we don't live in the, I stub my toe, it hurts. We live in the, I stub my toe, but one day when I'm with Christ, stubbing my toe will not be a thing. And so we, we mourn over our little losses, but we rejoice in the peace that we have with God. Because we all want peace with God, and he has given us peace through his Son, through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the promise we have. Go away. Amen. Let's go to our prayer of the day. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you sent your angels to the churches of Asia Minor to announce to them either the, their fidelity to the gospel or their departure from the true faith. By the preaching of today's pastors, continue to bring our churches the good news of your liberating death and resurrection by calling us to repentance and faith. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we confess in the words of the Apostles' Creed.
I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we are bold to pray as our Lord taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And for ourselves and others on this, oops, on this Wednesday morning, I had Wednesday evening up. Lord Jesus, you are my ever-living and ever-loving Savior. Thank you for protecting me by your mighty hand through the night. Open my eyes to see the blessings you have prepared for me today. For the love of friends that will enrich this day, I thank you. For the ability to work and serve others, I praise you. And for the gifts to be granted me this day, I honor you. Keep me firm in faith, watchful in temptation, humble in my success, and joyful in the face of afflictions, for your name's sake. Without you, I can do nothing, but I can do all things through you who strengthens me. Help me today to bear clear witness to the hope I have in your resurrection from the dead. Grant me your Holy Spirit that I may be dead to sin and alive to holiness. Use me today to bring your gospel to those who are like sheep without a shepherd, so they may learn to know you, the good shepherd, and find rest and peace for their souls in you. Lead me in the paths of righteousness this day, Lord Jesus, for your name's sake. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we ask this day that you be with those who are, are uh, suffering in body, mind, or soul, whose uh, bodies suffer illness or the effects of age or depression. We ask that you give them strength, uh, as you have promised, restoring peace between you and them through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Especially this day, we pray for Pat and Lois, Anne, Brianne, Rose, Bob, Mike, Megan, and Ezra, and Neely. We ask, Lord, that you continue to work in wisdom in the minds of doctors and compassion in the hands of caregivers and assurance in the minds of those who suffer with them. We ask, Lord, that you would keep everybody this day who travels safe, uh, that, that even though uh, the roads are icy, there are some that must go out on them and carry out their work and get to work. We ask that you keep them safe, O oh Lord, uh, even if property be lost, that flesh, blood, and life be preserved. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things on this day, when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, my friends, that brings our devotions for Wednesday morning to a close here on this ice day of the North Woods. God's peace be with you, and we will see you back here uh, tomorrow, uh, Thursday morning. Um, I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. I do have um, my Bible study at Grace Lodge tomorrow, uh, but I'm not sure where that's going to fall with the uh, weather conditions and stuff, so got to talk to the activity director up there too. There, there's, you know, people going to hospitals today that, that are caregivers and doctors and nurses and, and going to, to, to uh, nursing homes and care centers. Uh, they have to get there regardless of their roads. So 
Uh, keep them in your prayers this day as they travel. God's peace be with you, and we'll see you. We'll see you back here tomorrow, one way or another.